We've got a very special guest here with us today. It's one of my old coaches, Coach Disco Jeff. He's a national champion in Greco, and we were just going over a really cool pinch headlock, headlock, front headlock series after practice, and he's kind enough to actually show it to us today. How do you, do you get to your underhook in any particular way? So the first thing I want to do is I want to pull the head to the side. That way you have that big gap from here. Nice big pull, underhook, lock my hands. Here's a gable grip or C lock. Once we're here, I want to get his face in my chest. I want to pull down, get my shoulder underneath his elbow or his shoulder and his face into my chest here. So I'm here, I pull and I'm in. Once I'm here, my head is down. I want to get my right foot next to his right foot. The way I'm going to do that is by pulling him into me. I pull him into me and we match these feet up. So I'm here, pull, lock, suck it in tight, walk him in. Once I'm here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my feet, switch my feet, and pull to my chest. Once I pull, we're going to fall down. Dude, that little detail of I have never had anyone pull me in on that pinch headlock. When you start pulling me in, it creates all that momentum forward. And then as soon as you switch your I'm forward and on my plate. Coolest part, if he stops this, if I start pulling and he stops this move, he starts facing me, facing me. Right back to my regular headlock. The lock never changes. I keep my same lock. As I pull, he faces me, faces me. And the way you're hitting the headlock, because there's so much fear of people getting rolled through and their back taken, but the way you're, you're hitting a variation hip sag headlock, you're going down to your knee first. Sure. So you're taking away all the momentum of the potential of getting rolled through, right? Yeah. So like, I don't feel like I could roll you through at all. Like, so once we're here, instead of stepping in front or hipping big, I'm just taking my foot and I'm stepping it through the legs. All his power is gone. And we fall. It's very elegant. Okay, we're just here. I step through. No momentum. That's so sick. Yeah, because and you're you're basically forcing me to land perpendicular. Because the only way I can roll you through is if you're parallel with me. Sure. And then I can grab you and use momentum. But first off, there is no momentum. And second off, you're forcing me to land perpendicular in this sort of T-like motion, T-like shape. So yeah, the roll through isn't there. And you could, like if, do you, uh, besides finishing in this headlock, do you rotate to side control from here? Do you start, like, do you have any? I, the first thing I do is once I'm here, I will, I will sag in Jiu Jitsu eight inches down. I'll sag my rib on my rib here and get it low, head down. And then I'm just gonna elevate and finish. Yeah, dude, that's. So sag and then lift. Dude, that's. Crazy, crazy tight. And there was um, there's one more the front headlock. Like if I, is sure. that when I start moving my hips away? So if I'm here and I start pulling down, and, and he just puts his hips back and tries to get out of this and backs out, I'm gonna snatch. So if I'm here, I try pulling, and he just backs up, backs up, backs up, backs up. I'll snatch the front headlock. And from here, whatever your front headlock offense is, is great. There's lots of cool stuff. But if he just decides to bail on me and he doesn't want to get thrown, he backs out. Pull. But I'm just going to keep this tight so we can't back out, pull them into me, twist, 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 side control. Yeah, dude, that's so sick. There's, um, dude, I, I would be amiss if I didn't mention, if you were wrestling in the state of Michigan in the past, like, 20 years, and you heard W-O-O-O-O-O-O from the stands, Woo! if you heard woo from the stands, you knew somebody was getting thrown, you knew somebody was getting tossed. And Jeff popularized that catchphrase. We had it on t-shirts. If you were on Disco Jeff's team, uh, you had some of the best. Oh, we stole from Ric Flair, though. Rick, if, yeah, Rick, is Rick that what Of course, of course. Yeah. You guys steal from the best. Thank you so much, oh, Jeff. For sure. um, guys, uh, leave a comment, leave a like, leave a sub. If you guys want to see anything more, if you guys have any questions about this, Jeff's on the channel from time to time again. Maybe, maybe he'll even show up in the comments and, and respond to some of your questions.